What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today we're going to be talking about a very likely change that is going to radically impact Instagram influencer marketing. I'm going to be showing you what this means for you as an advertiser and how I'm going to combat this really unfortunate update. Let's go ahead and hop right into the video. <laughs> Okay, so if you haven't heard already, Instagram is testing and considering completely removing the ability to see the amount of likes on people's posts. You can still see the amount of likes on your own posts, but not on any posts on your feed, not on any posts on any other pages. Now this has currently been done in like seven or eight countries. It started with Canada back in May and it has now moved on to these countries. And um, I'm sorry if you're an advertiser there right now, but if you are in the United States like myself, then you still have likes, fingers crossed. Now, not only can you not see likes, but you also can't see the amount of views that posts have too, which really sucks because, you know, I run a lot of video ads and I like to see how many views those are getting on different influencer pages. Now this is just a test, like I said, but from all the articles I've read on it, everyone expects it to make its way to everyone's Instagram eventually, probably near the end of the year, but obviously no one really knows for sure. Now it's always best to prepare for the worst, so I really recommend that you watch the rest of this video and figure out how you can combat this really, really unfortunate update. Okay, so what does this mean for you as an advertiser? Well, the number one thing and my biggest concern is it's going to make it harder to distinguish between good and bad pages. Because you can't see the amount of likes and video views that the page is getting, then you may be forced to use an engagement rate calculator. And as much as I hate those, there's really not many better alternatives. So one of the good things about engagement rate calculators like Flanks, which I'll link below in the comments, is that it gives you the average amount of likes. So not only will it say the engagement rate, but it'll also say this page gets like 14,000 likes per post on average and while that's not always a great indication it may be the best that we have as an advertiser i don't anticipate that's going to go away once instagram removes likes i also think that instagram is still going to let you scroll through likes as well as scroll through comments which i recommend you should be doing even at the moment and that's going to get even more important once they remove the amount of likes that the page has. One of the biggest reasons why it's going to be more important to scroll through likes and comments is because it's going to be even harder to tell if an account is using engagement groups. Now you can see if an account has 10,000 followers and they're getting 50,000 likes on the post, then that's a pretty big red flag. But when you're not gonna be able to see the number of likes that a post has, then you really, really, really need to scroll through their comments and make sure that there's not any other themed accounts with a lot of followers that are commenting engagement group stuff like nice or cool or emojis or great. I don't know, just like this really, really basic stuff. Another thing that you should look for in the comments is people tagging their friends. This is a really good sign because not many times, if any, bots will be able to do this. You can get bots to comment stuff. It's usually basic stuff like I just said, but no one really tags other accounts. Now, in addition to using an engagement rate calculator, it may be smart to find some other websites to help you analyze Instagram influencers. One of the ones that I've been looking into a lot recently is called Tensor Social. Now, it's pretty new and I don't know a lot about it, but I have heard some really, really good things. And from what I'm seeing here, it allows you to see the total likes, the total comments, uh, video views, stuff like that. And it even, from what I've heard, allows you to see fake followers versus real followers and fake likes versus real likes. Now, obviously, this is really, really, really good for advertisers like you and me. And I'll continue to keep you updated once I learn more about this platform. Okay, so there is one potential upside of this update, and that is that it's more of a level playing field for people that are first starting out. For example, if an account is just starting and they have 10 followers and they have no likes on their posts, then it's going to be really untrustworthy for customers that come to that account from an Instagram influencer ad. However, with this update, 
you're not going to be able to see the amount of likes that a page has. So if that page with 10 followers instead has, you know, a thousand followers, which you can buy, then you really don't have to worry about the likes that you have on your posts. That means me who's built up like a following of 25,000 people on my main dropshipping store doesn't have a huge advantage over someone who's just starting out and buys 25,000 followers. Okay, so like I said earlier, this update is not 100% guaranteed, but it is expected to happen from what I have seen recently. At the end of the day, Instagram is going to do what they want and what they think is best for their business and you can't really control that. But the biggest thing that you can do is not update your app. Turn off your automatic updates and do not update it ever. They'll probably pull some sneaky stuff like saying that it's just bug fixes and minor improvements or something like that, but don't believe them. I haven't upgraded Instagram in like two, three, four months ever since I saw that they were removing likes and I really, really recommend that you do the same. Now eventually they may force you to update your app, but for the time being, just do not update it until further notice. All right guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is a topic that I have not seen really anyone in the dropshipping space talk about, so I figured that it was time to be a trendsetter. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that big red subscribe button below and I'll see you in the next one.